Tonight, Williamson County voters will get a glimpse of some crucial but costly plans to approve some items they use every day. In the November election, they'll have to decide on those ballot issues. $40 million in bonds for Parks and Rec and $275 million for roads. Some KXAN's Josh Hinkle discovered just aren't keeping up with the traffic in the area. Where the rubber meets the road and Leander Growth has nowhere to go. Yeah, it's definitely a major thoroughfare through here. Traffic on 2243 is cutting into the barbecue business at Smoky Moe's. I know we've had some customers say they just don't even want to come because it's too hard to turn in and out. But as soon as they can widen that, it's just going to be great for it. A fair amount of the daily 22,000 cars on nearby 183 is spilling onto this stretch. Two lanes just won't cut it anymore, so the county's proposing an expansion to five. We traffic here constantly all day. There's new subdivisions popping up everywhere. No apartment complex going on down the road, so it's been growing like crazy. $275 million to take care of this congestion and a lot of other road projects in Williamson County is a lot of money for taxpayers to burn through. You can't imagine what that construction is going to look like when they go through that process, though. If you wait till it is bad, it takes, takes longer to catch up. Sign that for me. And for Smoky Moe's, the longer it takes, there will be fewer mouths to feed. Oh, it's definitely worth stopping by for. And Leander, Josh Hinkle, KXAN News. And people who live in the eastern part of Williamson County can ask questions and learn more about the bond package and a special open house tonight. The Precinct 4 open house begins in just a few minutes. It runs until 7.30 this evening. It's happening at the Taylor Public Library on Vance Street in Taylor. This is the third time since the year 2000 that the county has asked voters to approve a multi-million dollar bond package. Here's a closer look at all this. Back in 2000, Williamson County voters approved $350 million in road bonds. According to the county, that money paid for more than 70 road projects, including free right-of-way lanes next to toll roads. Six years later, voters passed a $228 million package for road improvements throughout Williamson County. That road spending came at a time of rapid growth in Williamson County. Census figures from 2012 show that the county is now home to more than 450,000 people. That is up more than 50% from what it was just 10 years ago.